jig colors. Now, a lot of people are new to jig fishing and a lot of people have been catching bass on jigs for years. Either way, you need to know the top colors for jigs. Now, I've got in my hand, far and away, far and away the number one. It's black and blue. If I could only choose one jig color for fishing year round in any water color, it is black and blue. There is just something about that black and blue that that does it. I mean, I think in clear water, it is a very shadowy type figure, if that makes any sense. Now, what I mean by that is that they can see that it's black, but they're not sure whether that is a shadow or that's actually the color that they're seeing. Now, I don't, you know, bass don't have the brain capacity to process that, but they know what shadows look like and they they have one way to find out what it what it is and that's to, to suck it up. And then, okay, when you get in more stained water and, and off-colored water, that dark makes a easier profile for them to see and locate. I think that's one of the reasons black and blue works in a bunch of different water colors. So, what are you gonna put on, put on the back of it? It's easy to say, yeah, you just match up to the black and blue with the similar colored trailer, and that's easy, right? Okay, got it. But, but I have found, I have started messing around with exactly what trailer I put on the back as far as the color goes, and I've had better results uh, based on light conditions. So, uh, now right here is one of the ones I had ready for, for the Bassmaster Classic this past year. It's a black and blue with a bruiser colored D-bomb on the back. Now, the bruiser color is just a black and blue laminate, and you can see that the, the color is very subtle. That's what I like when it's sunny. There is something about that plain bruiser when it is sunny that, that just gets bit. That is probably my, num my number one go-to for an all-around trailer. And if the light conditions are a little low, or if the water is a little dingy, I like the Bruiser Flash. Now the Bruiser Flash, you can see, has a little bit of silver hologram flake in it. That gives that bait just a little pop as it's coming through. And it matches up, again, very well with that black and blue jig. And, and then my other alternative is just to go with straight black. I really like the straight black on there as well, uh, especially for, I don't know why, but it seems like the summertime, they like that straight black. I, I have no clue, rhyme, or reason, anything other than that, other than that's just from experience. I really like that. But I'll, I'll go a step further, and I like accent colors or um, you know colors that are not the same on the black and blue. Like I like green pumpkin on my black and blue jig at times. Water clears up a little bit. Uh, if I feel like they're really keying in more on bluegill, I, I might mix in a little bit of that green pumpkin. I've had good success on that combination as well. So be sure to mix up your trailers on that on that black and blue because we all know that's number one. We're gonna just go get that out of the way. That's number one, uh, even in a swim jig. Now swim jigs are a different category. I'm talking mostly about flipping, pitching, even micro jigs. Uh, you know, even the smaller jigs, black and blue is just hands down number one. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, I got, I got bruiser colored or black and blue jigs. Uh, now I'm going to ready to move on to the next one. The next one is, is a no-brainer again for me, and that is green pumpkin. Now this is a little, little Ike's mini flip, green pumpkin. I have a whole bunch of the half ounce ones in my box. That's one of my favorites right there. I also have a bunch in, uh, in like the headbanger or structure jig. That's probably my number one color on a football or a structure type jig is just a straight green pumpkin. Because with that green pumpkin, you can accessorize the trailer as well. Now I will put a bruiser colored trailer on the back, definitely getting that bluegill look. I will put a green pumpkin, obviously. It's just a nice, even, you know, the same color, matches up nice. And I'll even go with uh, candy grass on there as well if I want, you know, kind of a, a more of a bluegill with a pop on it. Uh, sometimes those uh, shell crackers have, you know, a little sparkle to them and some different colors, and, and you, can, you can accessorize it that way. I have even put 
the El Diablo, like it, you know, kind of a wild looking color on that green pumpkin. Uh, actually, Byron Childers, he turned me on to that. He's our director of sales at Missile. Uh, he turned me on to that combination right there. Uh, for some reason, he just picked one up and did that green pumpkin with the El Diablo and started smashing them. And I've caught some fish on that since then. I thought that's pretty, pretty cool. So play around with your, your trailers. If you're only going to, in my opinion, if you're only going to have two colors in your jigs, green pumpkin, black, blue, period. That, that is it. Now I'll give you the instances when you need to add more than that. One of those is uh, adding something with orange in, in the jig. That can be a big deal. This is a yeah, headbanger and what we call bammer crawl. Everybody's got a different, different name for it, but it's basically green pumpkin with a big orange accent on the bottom. That is that can be a big deal. This is a bluegill. It's kind of a, a bluegillish type color, but with a lot of orange in it. Um, I'll give you one instance. I was doing a Going Ike show with Mike Aguinelli, uh, my buddy who uh, helped design these. I mean, he's the, the principal designer in all the, in all the jigs, but his, uh, we were filming for his show. We were on a smaller body of water, and it was in the fall. It was in the fall. We were both throwing green pumpkin and black and blue to start with bite was really slow. We started messing around with different, um, different jigs and different colors. We put on the bruiser color or the, the bammer crawl color that with that orange accent and all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. We started getting bit. We ended up catching, uh, more about 12 or 14 fish in just in a couple hours in the afternoon. Once we made that switch, to that orange accent. There was something about, I guess, the crawfish that time of year in the fall, uh, but I've also seen that be a big deal in the spring, early spring, uh, having that orange accent on your bait, because a lot of those fish, I guess, early coming out of the, uh, their crawl have, have, that, have that orange on there. That's what the fish are looking for, and boom, the, the orange can be a big deal. So that's hands down my number three on, on jig colors. And just the same way you can, you can accessorize with different colors. I really like the, uh, the straight, straight green pumpkin on there. And then I also like um, the, the bammer crawl, like a matching bammer crawl trailer. Uh, so you have continuation of that orange accent all the way. Or if you wanted to go um, even more, you can do, you put the straight green pumpkin and then dip just the tips of whatever trailer you have on there, you can just dip the tips in orange. And that gives orange up here a little space and then that little orange accent on the, on the very end of it. I like that as well. So that's, uh, that's kind of my, my combination for, for the uh, Bammer Crawl. And we're gonna have the, the, next, the next round is probably gonna be that Brugill. That Brugill is similar to Bammer Crawl, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, that is more, to me, it's more of a summertime color around docks because um, when you're fishing docks in the summertime with a jig, bluegill are the are main forage. That's what uh, all these fish are, are eating. You, you know, you pull up to a dock, you can look and you can see six or eight uh, bluegill running around. That's, that's what they're eating. That's what they're going to be keyed on. You need to have a, you know, green pumpkin, bluegill type color on there and, uh, and then you can, you can catch, catch those fish. Uh, so one other one other one that I have seen make it make a difference is this Cali Love. This is a black uh, black red flake with the watermelon red flake. Something with red in it can be uh, a deal in the especially in the South for some reason. I'm not yeah you, know, you know everybody knows red is a big deal, but that El Diablo matches up really well with that California Love. One of my uh, favorite combinations anytime I'm going down south. So that's it. That's really it. I, I've got a, only a couple other colors. Uh, oh, I forgot, I forgot a very important one on structure deep jigs. If you don't have a brown purple or a PB and J color on, on those jigs, uh, you are, are gonna miss it. If you go to those, that Ozark region, uh, but I've seen it, I mean, even here uh, in Virginia on Smith Mountain Lake, that brown purple or PB and J is a huge deal in the summertime on, on your deeper structure jigs. That for some reason, I don't know if it has to do with the, uh, those fish get out there on those deeper points that have a lot of red clay and the bottom color is kind of that brown. And that's, I mean, that's the base color in these, in these two colors is, is that brown. 
that's uh, that's very important. You know, match up the the trailer on those. Uh, that's the only, and I, that the brown purple. That's the only color I have uh, is in the structure type jigs. Not I don't have it in the flipping and pitching uh, or any of the other ones. I do in the micro jigs as well, but only when I'm using it in the same way that I use the the structure jigs. That's about it. Basically, I've got the majority of four colors. Swim jigs, different story, uh, but for every other jig category, that's my four colors. So if you have any questions or anything else you want to see, be sure to hit me up down there in the comments and ask the questions. Let me know. And if you enjoyed the content as you guys have been doing an awesome job of, be sure to subscribe to me. Thanks.